What are we doing? Beach clean up, bro. Beach clean up. We're down at Bondi Beach. We're here helping out the responsible runners and plastic free Bondi. There's a heap of people down That's here. That's amazing. Yeah. Turnout. Yeah. So. I think we had a, well over 100 already. Here we go. Let's go clean up. <laughs> Let's go pick up some trash. Boom. Yeah, Brad and I started and we're walking down the beach like a couple of dudes we are and we were thinking it's pretty clean. You know, we couldn't find much, but it's not when you really start looking and digging down. It's it's everywhere. It really is. It's like you've got to sift through it. Um, it's it's just everywhere. It's, it's um it's really astonishing. So we thought we'd come up to the car park and um have a look to see what the catchment area is like and just have a look, guys. You know, we're down picking up all this rubbish off the beach. We've got to think about where it's coming from, and this is a perfect example: the car park next to the beach, full of litter. Still in the car park, thought we'd have a look at the pit. Look at that. It's down that stormwater pit. Back here um, I'm with Richie from Responsible Runners. Yep. Uh, we're about to sort what we can, but uh, come and have a look to see what we've basically picked up. I mean, it's uh, cigarette butts, just a uh, huge, huge amount of cigarette butts. We went upstream into the actual car park. The amount of pollution in a, in a single um, corner of a car park is just phenomenal. So uh, we'll sort this and give you the results. Right, guys, finished sorting. Um, it's just extraordinary. Cigarette butts, 100. In case of bottle caps, 20. 1,000 bits of microplastic. And look, we didn't we didn't count the 1,000, but we could clearly see there was thousands of bits of microplastic. But all this in the space of how long we are there, 20 minutes. Um, it's just really hard to find when it's down there in the sand. It's, it's really hard to find. So um, yeah, responsible runners, well done.